I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on data management. We'll begin with understanding what is factorial notation and then take up some common examples relating permutation and combination. Here we have three questions which will help you understand how to evaluate factorials. Question number one, evaluate six factorial, 100 factorial divided by 98 factorial and 18 factorial divided by three factorial times 16 factorial. Now, let me first tell you what is factorial. If I write n factorial, it really means it is product of consecutive non-negative natural numbers, right? So n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 and so on like times 2 times 1 till 1. So that is what factorial notation really means. So in combinatronics, we actually deal with very big numbers and this is a very good way of representing big numbers. Now let's see how to work with them. So question number one is clear to you. We need to just evaluate. In question number two, we'll simplify terms relating to factorial. And in question number three, we'll express different terms as factorials. So that's the exercise. You can always pause, copy these questions and solve them. So let's begin with the very first one evaluate factorials so that's the basic definition six factorial really means six times five times four times three times two times one that's what it means you can actually take a calculator multiply them get your result right six times five is 30 30 times four 120 and 120 times six let's do like this 120 times six is 6 times 2, 12, 720, right? It's better to use calculator for these calculations. Now, part B is 100 factorial by 98 factorial. Let's try to do this one. 100 factorial by 98 factorial. Well, let me remind you that for some IB students, fact calculating or evaluating factorials, this exercise may be without calculator, right? So. So try it without calculator also, right? So let's do without calculator. Okay. So what is 100 factorial by 98 factorial? Now you can write 100 factorial as product of 100 times 99 times 98 factorial. Do you see that? Now denominator is 98 factorial. You can see that we can cancel 98 factorial and 99 factorial and 98 factorial from the numerator and denominator. That leads to 100 times 99 or 9900 as our result. So in a way, we converted this factorial into product of numbers. Let's do C. So we have done A and B for you. I'd like you to try out C, which is 18 factorial over 3 factorial times 6 factorial. Now, 18 factorial is 16 factorial, sorry, 16. So, 18 factorial could be written as 18 times 17 times 16 factorial. In the denominator, 3 factorial is 3 times 2, which is 6. And we have 6 factorial, rather 16 factorial. Okay, so 16 factorial and 16 factorial cancel out. We are left with 18 times 17 divided by 3 times 2, which is 6. Now we can further simplify this and then multiply, right? 6 times 3 is 18. Now we can multiply 17 by 3, write down our result. 7 times 3, 21, 2, 51 is the result. Perfect. So that is how you are going to evaluate factorials without calculator. Right? Now let's take question number two, which is how to simplify factorials. So, so we have n minus r factorial divided by n minus r minus 2 factorial. And we also have an expression which is 
n factorial plus n minus 1 factorial divided by n minus 1 factorial. So let's do them one by one. You can always pause the video and solve them. Now n minus r factorial could be written as n minus r times n minus r minus 1 times n minus r minus 2. Now you see n minus 2 n minus r minus 2 factorial in the denominator. So you need not write further. Just stop at this stage. So we get n minus r minus 2 factorial as common factors between numerator and denominator. So they can be cancelled and we can that that is how we can simplify it. So we can now write this as n minus r times n minus r minus 1. That becomes product of polynomials kind of correct. Now, let's do the next one here, which is n factorial plus n minus 1 factorial divided by n minus 1 factorial. So, we may use factorization at this stage. Let's see how. n factorial, see here, n factorial is actually equals to n times n minus 1 factorial, correct? So, we're going to substitute n factorial as n times n minus 1 factorial. So, let's do it. So we can write this expression as n times n minus 1 factorial plus n minus 1 factorial divided by n minus 1 factorial, correct? So, so from here, we got this expression. And the substitution which we have done is right there. So we have substituted n factorial with n times n minus 1 as you can see. You will notice that n minus 1 factorial is common. So we could write this as n minus 1 factorial and what remains here is n and over there plus 1 divided by n minus 1 factorial. Now both are common factors in numerator and denominator. These n minus 1 factorials can be cancelled. So what are you left with? You get n plus 1 as your result. I like you to go through this step very carefully. It's a very important step. In factorial notation, we'll use it many times. Now here is our last question. We're kind of doing the reverse thing now. We need to express the given expressions in factorial form. Let's see how. So we are given 100 times 99 times 98. So let's write down 100 times 99 times 98. Now, to write it in factorial notation, we can actually multiply this by 97 factorial and also divide by 97 factorial. As soon as you do that, the numerator becomes 100 factorial and we have denominator as 97 factorial. Perfect. This is the factorial form which we were looking for. So, that's your answer, correct? So, this is your answer. Now, the last question here. You may actually pause the video, answer this out. Let's do it. So we have 13 times 12 times 11. To make it factorial, we have to multiply by 10 factorial, correct? Denominator is 3 times 2 times 1. So we'll again multiply and divide by 10 factorial. That gives us 13 factorial on the top. And here we have 3 times 2 times 1, which could be written as 3 factorial and we already have 10 factorial, correct? So that is the factorial form of the given expression. So with this exercise, I think you have clearly some idea about factorial notation and how to simplify expressions involving factorials. We'll take up more examples in the coming videos. I'd like you to Check these links and then practice some more questions. I hope you enjoyed this journey of learning about factorials. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.